On Tuesday, Korea, China, and Japan ended their trilateral two day FDA talks. It is the ninth set of talks since 2012, but little to no progress has been made. This as they reached a consensus in a trilateral summit last year to speed up negotiations on the deal. What is hindering their agreement and what is the direction they should head for? Our news feature tonight with Lee Ji Won. Korea, China, and Japan held their ninth round of high level FTA talks on Monday and Tuesday. The talks focused on issues such as guidelines for negotiations on product concessions and liberalization of investment and services. The three countries have had close economic ties since the 1990s, and in recent years, the three combined surged as one of the world's major economic groups, along with the likes of the EU and NAFTA. In 2014, Korea, China, and Japan's combined GDP took about 22% of the world, and the number is expected to increase to about 29% by 2030, further elevating the importance of the Northeast Asian economies. The economic scale of the Korea, China, Japan FTA is massive. The combined GDP of the three countries comes to about 17 trillion U.S. dollars, a size similar to that of Trans Pacific Partnership. Thus, the trilateral FTA will have a significant impact on the economy. A Korea China Japan FTA is clearly in the interest of each party. For Korea, most of the exports go to China and Japan, and from the agreement, Korea aims to secure its export markets. Going to uh, the FTA with Japan, Korean uh, manufacturers uh, industries can get enter into. The Japanese market relatively easier than before. And the, of course, we can have a chance to expand the technical cooperation with Japanese industries. And then, owing to the FTA, Korean industries can enter into the Chinese market, which is one of the largest markets in the world,、uh, with more efficient. Particularly in the service sector, it will be another opportunity. In the case of Japan, the country had been maintaining a policy aimed at protecting its agricultural sector while opening up its strong point, the manufacturing sector. But with continued trade deficit and losing of competitiveness, Japan will seek to reform its trade policy through the trilateral agreement. As for China, it will aim at developing its technologies with the help of Korea and Japan while securing its partners for China led economic negotiations, such as the RCEP. Through economic ties such as FTA and Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, China seeks to go in response to the U.S. led TPP and Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership and bring out similar effects to those. But even with the ninth round of talks, the three countries are yet to reach a final agreement. There are some difficulties in having progress、uh, about the agricultural sector among three countries. Particularly, Japan has been very sensitive. Uh, to discuss about the uh, our agricultural sector、uh, within the FTA framework. And Korea has been also quite sensitive. There are several other、uh, industrial sectors、uh, which each individual country has put the first priorities. For example, in the traditional manufacturing sector and the service sector, as you know very well, Korea and Japan have comparative advantages over China. Moreover, the three countries have unresolved historical and political conflicts, hindering the economic partnership even more. One of the biggest obstacles affecting the three countries' diplomatic and economic partnerships has been territorial claims, such as Japan's sovereignty claims over Korea's Tokdo Island. Furthermore, there are still historical conflicts yet to be resolved. Both Korea and China were subjected to Japan's colonial rule and have been deeply scarred by the wartime atrocities before and during World War II. But the Japanese government continues to be unapologetic about its past wrongdoings by visiting the infamous Yasukuni War Shrine, which honors Class A war criminals, thus aggravating the situation. Diplomatic and historical conflicts make it difficult for the countries to see the economic matters as it is, and basic consensus on the issues must be established in order to persuade its people on the FTA deals. The difficult part will now start.
uh, one is the framework issues. Uh, framework meaning how to conduct the future negotiations for goods trade and for services trade and for investment. Once those framework issues are completed, then uh, three countries can focus on detailed negotiation on particular uh, sectors of trade uh, and particular provisions of the agreement. Now, discussions of detailed provisions will involve a lot of work, a lot of negotiation, and that part will be, uh, will be difficult. For Korea, China and Japan to grow as a center of Asia's economy, the three countries must work to solve their thorn issues first so that their FTA deal can be applied to its fullest. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.